Friday the 22nd of November 2024. Good morning everyone. This morning's devotional is a reading from the second book of Corinthians chapter 13, reading verse 5 and it reads, Look closely at yourselves. Test yourselves to see if you are living in the faith. This last week or past week we have been looking at resetting our life. And one thing we need to be very clear about is that when we ask God for a reset, we need to be specific about it. There's nothing worse when someone asks you for something and they're as vague and they've got no idea themselves. So we need to be specific about it. Nothing becomes transforming until it becomes specific. You can ask God anytime for a fresh start in your life. But you don't just say, God, I want you to change me. He also wants to know what you have in mind. It's the same as you cannot solve a problem until you first identify it as a problem. And that means you have to admit that there are problems in your life. The more specific you are about what you want God to change in your life, the sooner it's going to happen. So, where do you need a reset? Would you like God to change your life to give you a fresh start? Could it be in your connection with God? If there's ever been a time in your life when you felt closer to God than you do right now, then it is time for a reset. How about your body? Do you need help with your metabolism, fitness or even chronic illness? Ask God for that. Ask Him to help you. Do you need a reset in priorities? Have you perhaps started spending time, all your time doing things that are not really important? Perhaps you need to reset, reset your schedule. What about a relationship? Do you need to reset a relationship that has grown stagnant or is perhaps deteriorating? You can ask God for that as well. What about your career? If you're out of work right now or if your job is moving away from following Christ more closely, ask God for help in that area as well. Do you need a reset in your thought life? If you're having thoughts that you know are wrong, that you can't control or that scare you, then you need to help ask God to help you reset your thoughts and give you new ones. And the reset continues. It can continue into parenting, into finances, or even our dreams. We can ask God for anything. My dear friends, whatever needs a reset in your life, just ask God for it. And remember, to be specific. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.